going to review how to place an order using Table Map. We will also cover how to enter a discount for an individual item and for the entire order. Finally, we'll cover how to split the payment in the Clover system. So to start off an order, we need to seat a table. First, we need to find a table that's open to be seated. If your restaurant uses assigned tables for your servers, find a table that's colored and has no status in the center of the table. If you do not use assigned sections, you can simply find a gray table. Now you can seat a table two different ways. First, you can tap on the table once to select it, then tap the button Seat Table. Or you can simply just double tap the table. This will open your seat table form. Here you can choose the number of guests in your party. If you choose a table that's assigned to a server, that server will automatically be selected. If it's not assigned, then it defaults to whoever is seating the table. If you're just the host, tap the drop down box and then choose the server which you would like to take over this order. If you want to enter a note for the order, you may do so here. Now, if all you're doing is just seating the table, go ahead and tap Seat Table. This will seat the table and then move back to the table map. But if you're seating the table and you would like to immediately begin placing an order, you can select Seat and Open Order. This will seat the table and then it automatically opens up the register app for you to begin placing the order. Now that we have our register app open, you'll notice it looks a little different than the traditional view. Don't worry, you still have all the same functionality as you've had in the past. Now, our orders are defaulted to start with the whole table position. To change over to guest 1, just use the arrow keys below. Now, I recommend always using the seat numbers when ordering, as this will allow you to pay for one guest and then continue to add more items for the rest of the table. Let's go ahead and add a few items to our order. Now to fire your order, select the table by tapping it once, and then tap fire. The fire button is only enabled when there are items to an order that have not been printed yet. If you need to add more items to an order, you can simply double tap a table and it will open up in the register app for you. Now to apply discounts, there's two different ways. First, if you want to apply a blanket discount to the entire order, you can use the discounts button on the bottom of the table map. Just select the table that you want to discount, and then tap Discounts. This will open the discounts in the Register app, displaying the discounts that you have set up. Just select the discount, and it will apply to the entire order. If you want to apply a discount for just one item, double tap the table, and the Register app will appear. Use the seat navigation arrows to find the item that you wish to discount. When you find the item, simply tap on the item once. This will now show you a few options. Here you can edit the quantity, remove an item, or add a discount. Go ahead and tap Add Discount. Now select the discount that you want to apply. Once you select it, you'll see the discount applied to the item on the left. When you're finished, tap Done. Now when you're ready to pay your bill, you have the same functionalities as you've always had. To complete a simple payment, Select the table and then tap Pay Bill. Our first section will allow you to pay the bill in just one payment. Split Custom will allow you to pay a custom amount, or you can even split the bill evenly. Split by Items will allow you to pay for an individual item. And then you have Split by Guest where you can pay for each person individually. Now when you use these methods of payment, the order is then locked and you can't add any more items. Now if you want to pay for a guest and continue to allow orders to be placed, you'll need to open the Tables app. Tap the Tables app button at the top of Table Map. Now find the table that you wish to pay for, so let's look for Table 84. Once you find the table, go ahead and open it. Now, look for the guest that you wish to close out and tap the button labeled Leave Table. This will give us a few options. Let's go ahead and select Pay for Items. Here you can complete the payment as you normally would. After you've chosen your receipt options, tap Done. If it takes you back to the Tables app, 
just tap the back arrow on your clover two times to return to table map. But once your order's been paid in full and the guests have left and your table's cleaned, select your table and then tap clear table. This will remove the order from your table and show that you're ready to receive a new guest. Now keep a lookout for new features coming to Table Mac. If you have a feature that you think could help, let us know. Email us at sales at seeddigitalmenu.com. And thanks again for joining us.